This is a sight for sore eyes in the Catholic Church. Old members and new converts flocking to service. You baptize and pour the water in you, it's just like, I feel like you're born again. Iris Crowfoot converted to Catholicism from Islam three years ago. Her parents moved her to the States in 1978 during the Islamic Revolution in Iran. She says becoming a Catholic has given her a renewed sense of community, and she's not alone. We also saw at Easter this year, not only do we have more people becoming Catholic, we have more people in the churches. Susan Gibbs is Director of Communications for the Archdiocese of Washington. The D.C. area will welcome almost 2,000 new members in 2009, its highest number of confirmations in six years. Across the nation, 150,000 converts attended Easter Masses at Catholic parishes, and old members, too, are coming back in droves. All signs that Catholicism is staging at least a mini comeback from a pre-sex abuse scandal that shuttered churches across the country. Well, there were a lot of people who we saw a drop in attendance in that year, and then we've been slowly recovering after that. It's taken more than time to heal those wounds. A rise in the number of immigrants from traditionally Catholic countries, more young adults joining the faith. Yes, even the recession has had a hand in it. People, when things are going good, they don't need God. When things are a little rough, they want a little outside help. And with U.S. unemployment currently at 8.5 percent, things have been more than a little rough, perhaps encouraging people to seek hope in faith. What happens when someone loses their job? Well, they want to network as much as possible. Church is a, a logical place to come and to build that community. Nothing like a recession, in other words, to bring people back to the flock. In Washington, I'm Liam Martin.